In 2011, we had 44,291,250. And finally, for 2012, we had 46,244,250 of them. We had 42,289,953 not even consumed at all. And finally, in 2012, we had 43,243,358. And for the roast game death toll, every year, all years except for 2000. 2008 and 2012 had 977,280. 2008 and 2012, on the other hand, had 979,957, of course, because they are leap years. Now let's shortly recap for wasted roast turkeys between 2008 and 2012. The first year had a 5% increase. The second year had a 9.4% decrease. In 2010, they had a 0.3% decrease. In 2011, they had a 0.3% increase and finally in 2012 they had a 4.4 increase in food waste when it comes to roasted turkeys not even consumed at all in christmas just to reiterate that point when it comes to the food waste of roasted hams from 2008 to 2012 it's been stagnant and 2012 ended up with slightly less wasted roast hams than in 2008 during the recession we're covering the last few years on this list of years we already covered. We'll be covering 2013, 2014, 2015, and 2016. We'll go over wasted turkeys first, then wasted hams as usual. Then we'll get to the Roskim death toll and how many children were actually spared after 2016 or in 2017, the first year of the post-Roskim era. Before we get into all that, let's do our very last research montage with the same song called Screw on the Loose by Tony Lowry from 1960. Hit it. <laughs> Let's get into wasted turkeys first. As usual, for 2013, we had 44,996,500 of them. In 2014, we had 44,609,000 wasted turkeys, not even consumed at all on Christmas. In 2015, we had 43,609,250. And finally, in 2016, we had 46,352,750 waste turkeys before, during, and after Christmas, not even consumed at all on Christmas. We have officially completed our journey when it comes to wasted turkeys. Now on to wasted roast hams. In 2013, we had 43,122,557 wasted hams, not even consumed for Christmas or on Christmas at all. In 2014, we had 42,481,377. In 2015, we had 45,564,613 of them. And finally, the last one for wasted roast hams. In 2016, we had 46,382,349. And finally, when it comes to the roast game death toll, every single other year except for 2016, which is a leap year, of course, has 977,280 deaths each. That's it for all the years before 2017. Now let's finalize the data, illustrate it, and make a few more ironclad statements. Number one, here's the data for wasted roast turkeys. Number two, here's the data for wasted roast hams. Number three, here's the year-to-year -year data for the roast game death toll. And finally, number four, here's all of them combined in one data set on one image. You can pause here because there are some disclaimers here. I'm not gonna lie. Now let's 
let's add all of them up. The total amount of wasted roast turkeys between 1998 and 2016 is presumably 759,098,500. The total amount of wasted roast hams is likely 692,168,791. In total, both of them make up for 1,451,267,291 combined. How many children were spared in 2017 when it comes to the roast game deaths in the post-roast game era? Only 13,383. Wow, only so few. So let's recap for one last time. Covered the last few years for wasted roast turkeys and wasted roast hams. Found out how many children were spared in 2017 from being slaughtered for not believing in Christmas in 2017. And the billions of wasted meat units. 2011, $74.45, 73% 75 of $102. 2012, $74.66, 74% of $101. 2013, $73.26, 70.4% of $104. 2014, $74.71, 72% of $104. 2015, $74.94, 68.2% of $110. 2016, $69.40, 63.1% of $110. Prices for each year without ham. 2011, $37.35. 2012, $37.56. 2013, $36.16. 2014, $37.61. 2015, $37.82. 2016, $32.50. 2011, $65.93. 65% of $102. 2012, $65.47, 65% of $101. 2013, $63.47, 61% of $104. 2014, $65.68, 63.2% of $104. 2015, $68.12, 62% of $110. 2016, $61.86, 56.3% of $110. The same as the prices for each year without ham, but also excluding stuffing and salad. 2011, $907,084,800. 2012, $947,082,240. 2013, Nine hundred and twenty one million five hundred and twenty eight thousand three hundred and twenty dollars. Two thousand and fourteen, nine hundred and thirteen million five hundred and ninety two thousand three hundred and twenty dollars. Two thousand and fifteen, eight hundred and ninety three million one hundred and seventeen thousand four hundred and forty dollars. 2016, $949,304,320. Average, $863.63 million.
Cost of roast hams wasted. 2011, $1,568,957,256.30. 2012, $1,604,328,581.80 2013, $1,599,846,864.70 2014, one billion five hundred and seventy six million fifty nine thousand and eighty six dollars and seventy cents two thousand and fifteen one billion six hundred and ninety million four hundred and forty seven thousand one hundred and forty two dollars and thirty cents two thousand and sixteen one billion seven hundred and twenty million seven hundred and eighty five thousand one hundred and forty seven dollars and ninety cents average around one point four billion dollars here's the verdict a there is a contradictory price trend americans apparently spend more on food much more than candy which is actually false B. You can't possibly account for both without going beyond the price that the average American spends on both candy and food, because either Americans spent way more than they actually did, or families did not consume the meat choices in both versions of a hypothetical Christmas dinner during the roast game era from 1998 to 2016. C. Billions of dollars were wasted on roast hams for Christmas each year during the roast game era, while only hundreds of millions were wasted on roast turkeys alone. Food waste is not a plus. Just like I said before, financial-wise, it's a minus. Meaning that Americans tend to spend more on candy than food, which is the actual trend in reality during those years. And had they not spent so much on candy, the average price of a 10 or 12 person Christmas dinner would be on par with Thanksgiving. That is, of course, without either the ham or turkey. Any potential ham or turkey, in quotations, bought is one wasted, not consumed at all. So, of course, in this perspective, more candy is spent than food. D. Every dinner menu item except for the centerpiece in both versions can be accounted for price-wise in the same way, not to make it a complete Christmas dinner table slash plate like it should have been had the hams and turkeys been actually consumed and the money well spent. The cost will be on par with candy overall. It'll be 50-50. And finally, E. The only alternative to turkey or ham that they actually consumed during the roast game era, like I've said for almost five years, is children. Human meat. Taking a human life is effectively priceless, but it is costly legally, and you should not do that. You should never do that. It is illegal to murder. Cannibalism is legal in a gray area, so as far as I'm concerned, they got away with it without conspiracy. So in conclusion, does the hypothetical Christmas dinner table add up in spite of the roast game during the roast game era? The short and simple answer is no. This is the direct reason why that this hypothetical Christmas dinner table is not the case. How much money did Americans actually spent on food and candy all together for Christmas during the roast game era? This phenomenon, when it comes to contradictions to both how much the average American has actually spent and how much is spent in total when it comes to Christmas dinner during the roast game era, is called the Roast Game Christmas Dinner Price Paradox. Since Hypothetical Christmas Dinner, Numbers by the Year 1998 to 2016 was published on September 26th, 2022, there is a growing curiosity of how much money people actually spent on food in comparison to the $1.4 billion that is spent on candy. This is a research commentary slash rant video. This time, let's find the actual average price that all Americans spend on food in total for each year during the roast game era. So for all wasted roast turkeys and hams, all the other menu items will be factored in simultaneously. The amount of turkeys that were wasted on average before, during, and after Christmas during the roast game era is 42,172,139 of them. 
the amount of hams that were wasted on average before, during, and after Christmas, not even consumed at all, during the roast game era, is 43,260,549 of them. So to account for both meat choices that were wasted, but instead replaced by children's butt meat out of culture shock or the roast game, that means that we will have to multiply all the menu items, including the centerpiece, on the dinner table during the roast game era price-wise by the set amount of wasted hams and turkeys for each equation. Then, I will divide by the set amount of turkeys or hams that are wasted on average during the roast game era. It will show that either they spent way more than they actually did, or the only way to accurately account for the total price is to cut any and all centerpieces, ham and turkey, price-wise, off. Now let's see which total price amount is more accurate. Starting with version number one, without the centerpiece, ham or turkey. Instead, replaced with the child's butt meat after the child, him or her, was slaughtered for not believing in Christmas. From 1998 to 2016, mac and cheese, $14.16, sweet potato casserole, $3.58, pecan pie, $3.37, mashed potatoes, $5.34, stuffing, $4.74, green bean casserole, $4.64, 66 cents salad 99 cents pumpkin pie two dollars and seven cents cranberry sauce a dollar and 38 cents creamed corn a dollar and 13 cents and finally bread rolls a dollar and four cents this is not a series this is a video that systematically analyzes every single fact that we have established when it comes to the topic of the roast game in both america and canada and the roast game era, 1998 to 2016. We are going to do this in a simplistic way. We're not going down the same avenue as the proof compilation did back in 2021. This is completely different. This commentary video is completely fact-based. First, let's start with the United States of America. The yearly roast game death toll was 977,280 children. The total roast game death toll in America overall was 18,568,322. Now let's go through all the demographics of the American roast game death toll. Starting with race. With 64.1% of the death toll, or 11,898,581 of them being white, African American, 29%, 5,384,813. Hispanic, 1%, or 185,683. Other races including Asian American, 5.9%, with 1,099,245, including the 16,711 Asian American children in this death toll. Now let's continue with age. 4,742,916 under a year old, 8,900,000. 24,862 under the age of 5, or between the ages of 1 and 5. 2,458,544 of them between the ages of 6 and 11. And 2,442,000 children by law between the age of 12 to 17. Family Structure 39.8% of the children that were slaughtered for not believing in Christmas were killed by a single mother, or 7,390,192. 8.7 of them were killed by a single father, or 1,615,444 of them. 27.2% or 5,050,584 were killed by a married mother, and roughly 25% or 4,512,102 were killed by a married father. Gender, 68 8.9 of them were male, or 12,793,573 of the children that were slaughtered for not believing in Christmas were male. Female, 31.1%, or 5,774,748 of them, all of which are Christian, no matter which denomination. The total amount of money spent on food for Christmas on average was $497,543,705.60. The total amount of money spent on food for Christmas alone during the Roast Game era, in total for 18 Christmases or roughly 19 years, $8,962,986,700.80. The total amount of money spent on both food and candy during the entire Roast Game era, 18 Christmases or roughly 19 years, was $34,162,986,700.80. 
And finally, let's get into Canada. The Canadian Roskam death toll yearly was 4,529,675. In total, it was 86,063,825. Now let's get into the Canadian Roskam death toll demographics, starting with race. 99.97% of them were white and only 0.03% of them were black. Now let's go ahead and move on to gender. 52% of them were male, and only 48% of them were female. Now let's get on to immigration slash national fertility. 19.8% of the Canadian Rose Game death toll were of immigrant children, while 80.2% of them were made up of originally born Canadian children. Children who never ventured outside of Canada, ever. In total, of course, obviously taken off the centerpiece because you can never take into account the ham or turkey, and you get $56.90 Canadian. The total amount of money spent on food on average yearly in Canada was $257,738,507.50 Canadian. The amount of money spent on food alone during the roast game era, or 18 Christmases or roughly 19 years, just like the US, but they ended it a year early, Four billion six hundred thirty nine million two hundred ninety three thousand one hundred thirty five Canadian dollars. This, of course, is accounting for both inflation and the overall trend of spending more money on candy for Christmas than food. Even though the data slash statistics for the average amount of money Canadians have spent on candy for Christmas is unavailable, either coincidentally or conveniently or inconveniently, doesn't matter which. Now before I end this video, let's get into the total amount of turkeys wasted per year in Canada during the roast game era. I'll let the other audio clip that I will bring up give you those numbers. 2011, 9,009,927. 2012, 9,106,618. 2013, 9,204,219. 2014, 9,293,710. 2015, 9,379,683. And for 2016, 9,705,512. The post roast game era, Christmas turkey consumption. For 2016, I couldn't find how many whole turkeys that were bought specifically for Christmas in 2016, which is quite suspicious because this is when the Canadian Roast Game Era technically ended, and there is a one-year gap between when the Canadian Roast Game Era ended and when the Canadian Post Roast Game Era began. And that does it for the complete and systematic analysis of the Roast Game and the Roast Game Era 1998-2016 in both countries, America and Canada. I am Brian Mullins the Fox, signing out. See you then.